I am Temilola Adepeto, the founder and managing director of SKL, the Integrated Services Limited. Yes, we started um, 23 plus years ago. In the next few weeks, our company will be 24 years old. And that's why we feel that as um, a company who has supported the education sector for so many, for two decades plus, we should start being a voice that we bring all our stakeholders together. My name is Dr. Mrs. Rosemary Koke Kanasa Okoli. I'm Omola Yabose de Shokoli. My name is Barrister Mrs. Doris Chinedokoro. I heard about this um, program. Someone just talked about it. My friend, Mrs. Um, Chinedu, um, told me of a green school. She told me about um, this program. So and I now said, let me come and see what it's all about. And I will say honestly that I'm very, very impressed. And I look forward to other programs like this because it has exposed me a lot to um, facilities that we use in school so we don't sit down and you know think of how to get a lot of things being here is like a complete place of getting everything your school needs it's a very good program for school owners that are really ready to compete in the competitive 21st century world when i saw the team of today's um, conference educational supply showcase i realized that the main gap, the major gap we suffer now in the education sector is how to get educational equipment and resources, you know, and I feel that this is an opportunity to have a conversation around this and see how we can get educational resources and materials to the educators that need to work with it. What came to mind was that I was going to be having access to a lot of exhibitors that are going to be giving me leverage in the school business. For example, I've scanned around the room now. I've not seen several school owners in my area that I know. So the idea I'm taking away from here uh, is going to be genuine. It's going to be, you know, sort of reserved for me. And that's a leverage for me in that area. Honestly, this, um, that's a very good question because for something like uniforms, you know, um, in the past, I go to the UK to do uniform. And then when um, pound was getting too expensive, and now we started going to Turkey. But being here now, I've seen school kids. And they're even telling me they were in my school. And I didn't pay attention because I felt they could not deliver. But seeing them here now gives me more um, courage and more, I now like to do business with them. You know, even like I told her that now I know you are serious. Because when they just came to meet me in the school, I wasn't sure I'm going to get um, the worth of what I want. But seeing them here has reassured me that they can give me the worth of what I want. And so, it's, why, why not spend that money? Why not go through this, this stress when we have them here in Nigeria? So I'm very impressed. At least I will take care of my uniform needs. And then I would also look at other people that have also, shook, like um, the printer, the people that came to talk about Canon. So that one also will solve the problem of photocopying in the school. Because we always have problems, you know, especially when you have a bigger school, you know, and you are doing worksheets. It's also a source of for impact before business. However, because of how the industry has grown, a lot of people are looking at it as more business than impact. But anyhow you want to look at it, we still need these educational supplies to be able to run what we're doing. And we still need to have funds to source them. The people who are providing the educational supplies also need to have get funds. Because you know when you bring product to the market, you're looking for money. However, from all the conversations we had today, I realized that there are so many ways we can bridge the gap. There are so many ways that at the end of the day, people providing educational resources, like if you go to where the exhibition is happening now, you have a lot of resources, people providing that there. Even the people that you can approach to get money to get it, they're also there. So the gap is being bridged while they're making their money, making, get, getting, getting their profit. School, um, school owners, educators are also getting what they need to work. And I tell you the truth, once you provide the right education for the children, 
even in the passion, you're making money. Because what people are only looking for is value. And you can't give value without the right resources. So when you have the right resources and give value, right on the, before you see that you make money, you still make the money you're looking for. Conferences like this will have impacts on my school business because, for example, I said it has given me access to a wide range of exhibitors. The exhibitors are also giving some of their products at a discount, which is good for me. Some of them are giving us free resources. And just like I also mentioned, there is an academy that I can sign up my learners free of charge and they get certificates. And also, the sponsor Sponsors of this event, Sterling Bank, they are also giving financing. So for things I can't afford easily by myself, I would get a support from the bank. So this is coming with huge benefits to me, sincerely. We looked at all the you know, different learning resources that are available. And we just thought, you know what, we need to partner. We've been partnering with some of them over time. We need to partner with other OEMs who are in the ed tech um, space to be able to help our stakeholders, you know, um, have access to these OEMs and know what products that they can use to enhance learning in the classroom. So it's two things. One is value add to our, to our customers who are mostly school owners. And secondly, is for us to create an avenue for our stakeholders to access the um, companies that produce these digital resources. And third is we partnered with Selling Bank who have as one of the pillars of, the, of, their, uh, of their bank to support business. And so... Once you have, you know, there's a need as a school owner, once there's a need, and if you look at it and you may not be able to afford it directly, then we provide an, you know, a channel for Sterling Bank to be able to help to provide um, access to be able to buy. So we want to be known not just as uh, school outfitters, which we started off with, of course, but also for our stakeholders to know how wide we have diversified our services and for us to also add value to them and be partners in progress because nothing stands still. We continue to move forward and we continue to move uh, abreast of technological development. Education is very fundamental in every society. Like they would say, it's the bedrock of societal growth, economic growth, right? So for us in Sterling, I mean, like we've always said, we are focused, we're a focused institution. And we're a financial services provider that provides, you know, um, an enabling environment for the entire education value chain. Um, we know the challenges and the problems that education is facing currently, um, which includes unemployment, you know, um, lack of teachers training, unqualified teachers. We have obsolete, you know, um, educational content and curriculum, um, ineffective curriculum. Um, to educators or to school owners and you know um, educational institutions, they have they find it. I mean, they have um, lack of access to finance. Um, there are a whole lot of you know issues. We have over two million um, students coming out of um, school, and you know only 26% of them have been admitted in university. So the infrastructure to you know um, enable them to school for that, go to university, you know and then be ready for, 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 the, the, for, for work, you know, it's not there, right? So there are a lot of problems in this space. And I am so happy that, you know, Sterling Bank um, see a lot of opportunities in this space. And that is what, you know, we're doing to address. And we have a lot of, you know, um, initiatives, projects, um, solutions, value propositions and programs that we're using, we're coming up with, we're developing, designing with, you know, several stakeholders, um, several um, um, partners in the education sector to, you know, to solve some of those problems. SKL's vision for the Education Supplies Showcase was to essentially bring uh, two very important stakeholder parties together in the provision of educational supplies or learning aids. So essentially, we have worked with a lot of customers over the last 24 years. Uh, we work with over 600 schools in Nigeria and in a few West African countries. And we've also started to ramp up 
uh, partnership conversations with a number of OEMs uh, who basically provide much needed educational supplies and infrastructure. So our concept for the education supplies showcase was to bring the consumers you know, in contact with the manufacturers to be able to see how we can break the gap in terms of the conversation around value delivery, pricing, and a number of other important conversations that makes uh, the delivery of learning aids seamless and uh, sensible. Canon is here with the SKLD exhibition uh, because we are passionate about education. Uh, we have Canon Academy Junior, which is a program that we're running for schools uh, designed to teach kids uh, from younger age to teenage, uh, 16, uh, in photography to equip them. Uh, in photography and to develop their skills and interest in photography. Our company name is MG Stationery. We come uh, from China and we do the business. Uh, we do the stationery business. And in China, we are the number one stationery brand. We already have the 30 years history. And uh, since 2020, we come into Africa. We, we want to start in the Africa market. That's, and Nigeria also is a very important market for us. That's why today we come here to present our product. Particularly today, I'm introducing the Marcel Hughes Schoolwear brand. And just like you must have heard me speak earlier today, um, I talked about um, school uniforms and all the various products that um, Marcel Hughes is able to deliver to schools. Um, so today we see, you know, we see all we 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 have experienced the economic. We see the economic indicators and um, we see how this has um, kind of boxed a lot of school owners in purchasing um, their learning resources, school uniforms, be it school uniforms, be it stationery, whatever it is that school, school owners are willing to purchase. Um, we see how um, the economy has kind of boxed them. And so what Marcel Hughes is bringing on board today is a solution or a product that is um, tailor-made for every school owner. When Skilled Integrated Limited called me about this conference, I felt like it was an opportunity for me to lend my voice to the educational community, to the education community. And um, honestly, I've had a partnership with them, and I just was imagining how lovely the conference was going to be. And they didn't disappoint. It was a nice one. It was a wonderful conference. And I think the, the other speakers as well, um, getting to meet them, getting to speak with them, was just a beautiful time and privilege that I, I enjoyed. Right, so I think it's a good conversation that we started and it's going to inspire school owners to rethink their or re-engineer their business model and also re-engineer how they deliver education. And they, it has helped, we've helped to expose the gaps in teaching curriculum uh, and the teaching curriculum and how uh, business owners must be open-minded and focus on solving problems. Um, I give examples that when you have a curriculum content and it does not solve an actual problem, but teaching photosynthesis, it needs to focus on demonstrating how it really works. I mean, you have a building that is blocked by light. Um, you tell the children that because it's blocked, blocking the sunlight, certain things would grow or not grow. These are the practical ways of teaching children how to think, uh, problem solving, mathematics, simple interest, compound interest. How do you bring that to real life? You know, uh, your mother runs the plantain chips factory. She borrowed money at this interest rate. How much will she pay? Like, bring that to life. Let the classrooms carry that. And I think that's my recommendation to school owners. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Upgrade TV. I'm live on Upgrade TV. On Upgrade TV. This is my shout out to Upgrade TV and that fantastic people. Please do keep watching Upgrade TV. Shout out to Upgrade TV. I'm excited to be live on Upgrade TV this afternoon. Thank you so much for having me.